Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 48 Round of 64 match between Star Ferret and his Dwarves and Dionysian and his Amazons. In the booth with me is Kalon. Hello! Hello! Uh, wow, Dio must be absolutely delighted to have got such a favourable matchup in Round 1. <laughs> yes, he, he goes on and on about what a favourable matchup Dwarves are for Amazons. Um, you know, some people say he's full of shit and deluded and insane, and those people are right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, would a, would a normal team have been able to get a stun on that dwarf straight away off the bat? Yeah, uh, we can't see the screen, Jimmy. Here. You you can't see the sorry. Oh, yeah, 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 you're, you're, things you're, you're had happened. Things can't, had happened. Can't see the action. Things had happened with my desktop. Sorry. Yeah, they're all good. Falling over and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a really nice team um, from uh, Starfarish. It's uh, pretty well put together. It has an extra lad on the bench. Uh, I'm not sure there was a huge amount of TV in it, both of these teams being exceptionally TV uh, efficient. Looks like a, a babe on um, yeah. Starfarish. On, oh, on Dio's yeah. side. Dio, yeah. yeah. Cool. So it's a Dio lot does of card for Dio, isn't it? Look, three, four, it's, five, it is. six, six. Not that much. It looks like more than it is. There's only six. Mm. But yeah. But, uh, yeah, two two of them on um, on linos, which is pretty handy. One of those linos being um, a glorious agility one, <laughs> um, which is kind of funny. Yeah, it's, it's uh, where is she down that the back one. near the ball? It's like, oh, it's that one there. Yeah, yeah she's got fend as well, which is pretty handy actually. Yeah, she doesn't have to dodge if you yeah. don't have to dodge if you fend or if you cast against dwarves. <laughs> uh, but yeah, D Dio does have a feral matchup against uh, bad players. But of course, mm -hmm. against good players um, with dwarves, he doesn't do so well. Um, no. Well, you know, there's no real surprise there. Uh, no. Starfire is pretty handy as well, and uh, dwarves are his um, his main team that he plays. There you go. Uh, so I think this is going to be a, a very tough game. It is. But provided they can keep themselves in there, there's always an opportunity to do some stuff. And, you know, Dio's fairly good at the old blood bowl. He's fantastic, yep. Yeah. So not getting a huge amount here, other than that initial stun on the line. He's um, he's not doing a huge amount. He's willing to plug these girls in, though. Oh, blitzing with edge one. Oh. Gets the full pow. Love to get a, another level on her and maybe bring her up to edge two. Oh, yeah. oh, imagine that. He obviously wanted to blitz this one, right, but with sand firm, he couldn't. Yeah, you so. can't. You can't and, touch and, it. I, even yeah, if it didn't the... have stand firm, he didn't have the angle on it anyway, so I guess he wouldn't have hit that, whatever happened. Mm -hmm. Pretty nice uh, structure by Starfarad as well, just to keep all of his guys in order. A lovely runner down the back. Uh, what's he? Blodge, kickoff return, strip, and leader. Mm. All of which is pretty tasty. Going for this foul. Nice foul as well. I'd rather have Dio's though. <laughs> move up. Oh, yeah. Move up and add you. Yeah, she's lovely, isn't she? Hello, Sandwich. Yeah. Hello, um, Sandwich. Sorry, Sandwich. I should say Sandwich. <laughs> a nice rasher Sandwich now. <laughs> she said murder. A nice rasher Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep on doing this till you crack. I <laughs> know you bastard. <laughs> 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 oh my god, just don't ask me if I'm, if I'm having a nice cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I will. You have it, you will. I, you will. You'll have a nice cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Doyle, she's great. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just a lot of trading of blows here. Um, nothing doing from the. Um, nothing doing from the Suns, really. Um, was that foul the last time? Was it from the dirty player that went in and did the foul? At it least? was the dirty player, yeah. Okay, cool. Can he get a bit of traction down here on this side? It does look like he's is angling to try to go down this side. He's got some angle for the dangle. Indeed, he does at that. So, um, yeah, can stretch over here a little bit and he's going to get another nice foul in uh, mm. on this boy here. Not but, that uh, nice, though, is it? Like, you know, no. it's bloody... Thick well, skull, he doesn't go first. Yeah, Almond yeah. Nine Thick Skull. Like, you need so many assists to make it worthwhile. Mm. Mm -hmm. The dodge off here. Oh, wow, wow. Just a tilt, uh, tilt dodge. Mm -hmm. yeah, a, a trap dodge there. <laughs> a trap dodge. 
Yeah, she has uh, she has block though, so it was a block. It was a block. It, she did have a block for yeah. that dodge. It wasn't a blockless dodge. <laughs> Oof. And does lose a, an, a guard and immediately plugs in the Apo on that to make sure that he has one of those guards. But that does leave the rest of this game a little bit open. Where everybody's playing for keeps. Yeah. And uh, you'd, uh, I mean, it's obviously it's the right thing to do, but you could see in ladder certainly you wouldn't when you've got that super blitzer. Exactly. Um, yeah. They are playing for keeps. Have you ever been to Poughkeepsie? Uh, Poughkeepsie is in New York, isn't it? Hmm. And I, I have never actually been to the, the States, so no, I have not. No, me neither. Yeah. It's a funny sounding place though, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah. So well done on bringing it up, because it is kind of funny. Thanks. Oh, he's potatoing. Ooh. Potatoey. He has no fear go. of the strip ball, because uh, he's got sure hands, so I mean, it's basically nothing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Almost like strip ball's a bit shit. I mean, it's fine early TV, but it gets a lose its value later on. Um, yeah. I don't know what else you give that guy either, right? Um, he already has Kick. leader. Yeah, it kicks fine, I suppose. If you're going to play him on offense, which is you know our defense rather, which is you know what he is what he is doing. Yeah, and kick he, is good. He also got the uh, strip before the leader. Yeah, before the leader. Yeah. So yeah, fair enough. Oh, look at this. Great dice rolling for Dio. For a man who he says there are no dice. <laughs> He's rolled some dice that turn. Yeah. Oh, all of the trees. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And uh, this is actually much safer than I thought it was going to be, Jim. Yeah, that was just incredible rolls. I mean, it, it's like it was almost designed um, for your accent that turn. <laughs> It was, yep. Just all the trees. <laughs> Just roll trees and you'll be fine. A few naggins, a few trees. Grant. <laughs> yeah, it is a nice little dwarf team, though. It's pretty good. Um, although it's not the best of the dwarf teams. We've seen um, another one in the... For those who are watching on YouTube, you will no doubt already have watched the um, uh, preview of the teams, uh, which is available on Jimmy's uh, YouTube video. If you haven't, take a second and go and have a watch so that you have an idea of who's in and who's not. Yeah. Um, and you'll be able to see some of the other teams that are in the in the uh, cup. Um, I'm thinking of dailies being the one that is pretty spectacular. Um, of course, Eliod's is uh, already gone out as well. So this is the last of the. Yeah, we've got we've got uh, this one and another one. And if they see if any of the dwarves manage to get through. Uh, to the next cup, but Elliot going out was a bit of a shocker. It was a bit, yeah. I was carrying the weight of the the roller, though, you know, so it wasn't using the dwarves' uh, TV efficiency to their uh, to, to its best ability. Oh. Does finally make a make a failed dodge in base contact with tackle. Has a reroll for it, and does get the two plus. Oh, it was a blitz off. Fair mm, enough. Dodge to blitz. Going for the stall, isn't he? Doesn't want to go in early. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose not. Yeah. Want to wait? I mean, it's not like they're hugely threatening, but uh, I mean, the line of scrimmage alone could do some damage, right? Mm. It's huge. It's pretty huge, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't back uh, against war, like, because it's it's the fact you've got to sco stop them as well, isn't it? You know, like. For sure. It could lose yeah. you the match trying to stop their four-turn score because you've got to get in the way and then they'll punch yeah. you and hurt you. They'll hit yeah, you and hurt to, you. Happen to be in base. They will. They will. Defender and attack. <laughs> mm-hmm. There is only one way to beat them, and Dio has got round the back. Hmm. Whatever language Kalon calls English, yeah. <laughs> it's a uh, Hiberno English, is what it is, uh, Msamage, um, which is now recognised as the official English in uh, the EU, because, uh, you know, we're still in the EU. Hmm. There you go. The only um, only Anglophonic uh, country left. Wow. Yeah, it's interesting. It is, isn't it? What's interesting is, they shouldn't have been a... F the fucking referendum was a fucking bollocks thing anyway, right? Why didn't they just yep. say, look, if 70% want out, we'll leave. You know, something like that, or 60% want yep. out. Why, why is it 50.1% is enough? It's fucking mental. Anyway, that's Well, I mean... That. 
It's it's worse than that though because it's uh, you don't have it as part of your constitution that you have to actually listen to what the referendums is. The referendum is just a way of being able to find out what people think. You don't have to follow it. There's no reason for you to have gone ahead with it at all. Yeah, but they kind of had to, didn't they? So like they they, they you know they'd all like not really. I know, it's not but bind- it's, it's not binding. It's, it's not binding, binding, but you know, in, in the same way, it's the same way as uh, Boris Johnson didn't have to resign, did he? <laughs> He took his uh, sweet fucking yeah. time. <laughs> he did, yeah. Well, has he even fucking left yet? <laughs> no, not really, has he? So there you go. So it's a similar kind of situation, isn't it? Like, you know, he doesn't have yeah. to, but he kind of had to. For sure. And he does go in, uh, after all, giving the, or- the dwarfs a three turn back. Three turns not half as bad as before. Mm. But that's why, that's because it doesn't binding. Like, why is it 50 point, why is, why is it 50.1% but enough? Like, it's so stupid, isn't it? Yeah, it's really Just crazy. Say. Especially considering, like, not a huge amount of people voted and not a yeah. huge amount of people actually knew what it was about either. Um, yeah. The, the regret was the, was the funny word yeah. that they were saying for the next day. And, um... That was the most yeah, Google thing, wasn't it? The next day was, like, about yeah, what, 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 does... what is, what have we voted for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ. But about a third of the people didn't bother to vote, and about a third of the people weren't able to vote. So mm-hmm. only about a sixth of the people actually voted for it. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. So we have this, uh, it's, it's a binding part of our constitution that we have referendums for everything. And normally we end up having referenda, um, because if they're not happy with the, if we're not happy with the amount of information we were given on the first one, we protest voted. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, we voted for a bunch of, uh, which is cool because it gives you the actual, so referendums are what the plural is and referenda is if the same question has been put to the populace more than once. Mm-hmm. So uh, if you vote on the same topic twice, they're referenda mm-hmm. on the same subject. There you go. Lovely bit of uh, uh, English for you. Uh, but, um, yeah, we uh, we ended up having to vote a couple of times on a couple of things because we weren't happy with the amount of information we were given on. And, uh, yeah, so it, there's nothing wrong with going back and asking the population to do another one, especially if it was as big a deal as that was. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm sure you know how it is. Yeah. yeah they well, there's, a, there's a great website on the internet called Are the Brits At It Again? <laughs> <laughs> and it's arethebritsatitagain.com. And uh, I, I welcome anybody to go and have a look at it. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to. Do, yep. <laughs> Pretty funny. Yep. But, uh, yeah, that, that that was the thing that got me. Like, you know, seeing as, like, you, okay, you don't have to. Yes, <laughs> the Brits are indeed <laughs> at it again. <laughs> it has been zero days since they were last at it. <laughs> Yeah. So like that, that's what got me cause like you kind you don't have to follow but you kind of have to follow it. So just sit, just change the rules of it and say, you know, if we yeah. get an overwhelming thing, we'll do it. Like that that killed me. I mean, me, yeah. I the the hilarious part of it was uh, because it wasn't binding. Like everybody in Europe was kind of going, "Geez, that's, that's that was actually a pretty good move by Cameron there." Because now what he gets to do is go to Europe and go, "Lads, the the Brits aren't happy." <laughs> so you guys will have to do some stuff for us uh, to make sure that things... And he could have gotten pretty much most of what he wanted. Uh, but instead, he decided to go ahead with the actual withdrawal. And everybody was like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> so he had this really great bargaining chip that uh, instead turned into a ludicrous fucking decision. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty funny. Yeah. Well, not not for you guys. No, <laughs> not pretty, so much. Pretty for funny us, for no. literally everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, a bit like Trump, isn't it? It's funny yes. for everyone else. Not Correct. Not so much for the Yanks. <laughs> e- exactly that. Is he going to do the? Jet? All right. I was curious as to whether the um, the Slayer was going to remain the 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 main scoring threat here, mm. and it looks like it might be. Yeah, it is because these blitzers aren't going anywhere thanks to the perfect defense. Nope. Yeah, a bit of over. Uh, over reliant on that side of the pitch. I'm not sure why. So it's just because that's where the boys were. Because the blitzers are stuck in the center as well, which isn't terrible. Because at least they can get themselves free in the next couple of turns. But yeah, just um, the perfect defense are... screwed him. Like, yeah, I guess you've got to pick a yeah. side, and if you get blitzed or perfect defense, don't you? Up shit creek. Like dwarves mm-hmm. are slow, aren't they? So they really are, yeah. Uh, but they make up for it with their uh, lack of agility. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny how with eleven guard and seven mighty yeah, blow and 
there's a bunch of stuff, but it's mm. funny how like people when you people start playing the game and they're like, Jesus, dwarves are obnoxious, and you're going, yeah, yeah, they're really obnoxious, and they're like, well, they're clearly broken, and they're not broken though. Like they're, I mean, they're fine. Like they don't really win anything, you know. Well, was the PC says that know. if any, they win, they win plenty. But mm. as soon as they get to a certain TV, they're they're pretty shit. PC has the thing about how. Um, uh, at some stage, every dwarf coach will play elves so that he can actually win an event. <laughs> and I mean, to be fair, winning events in tabletop is different, right? Because it's hard to win with them against good, good opposition, but only because of the way the game is tilted, right? Like, just the way the game is, that it's hard to win with bash teams. It's hard to win with orcs, isn't it? Uh, well, not, not at the moment, man. Orcs are. Orcs are fucking superb at the moment. Well, yeah, we they fight, go a bit faster, we'll but it's still a hard win with them. And they're still, like, lower tiered, right? And orcs are always lower tiered than dwarves. They get extra skills and stuff, which is a bit bollocks as well. I hate I kind of hate that about tabletop. It's yeah, I, I, it, it, it's always changing, and it depends on the event, and there's always different things going on. So I, I, I think it's all I think it's all kind of fine, really. Like, the thing is, like, I, you're not wrong. Elves can win pretty much any game, right? Yeah. Um, Post three roll as well. Yeah, you can push for a win. Well, he had to, didn't he? I mean, he couldn't yeah. just not score. See, that is exactly no. the kind of thing where Art would go like, post three roll, GFI. And it's like, yeah. well, he can't just not <laughs> score, can he? He's <laughs> <laughs> not just going to not try. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, He's going to be able to get this. Um, yeah, that's the last of the scoring threats now, is this um, Slayer. Could probably go for a blitz on him just to make sure. Nah, he's out of range now anyway. And oh, sure, he's only moved four because that Slayer is move bust. Mm, there you go. So, uh, yeah, no score for the Dwarfs. Uh, pretty great news for Dio. Just needs to hang in there for another turn and not uh, get his whole team deleted. So, mm. Yeah, probably wants to win in normal time, which is not so easy. But he's got to try and do it because if it goes all the time, you imagine he's not going to have much of a team left. But he's only lost one and a half. Oh, which is yes. No, yeah, one and a half is pretty tasty. Uh, yeah, he did. It was a blockless GFI, as pointed out by Dr. Mandatory. But uh, what he did do, defend. however, was uh, use Tick Skull correctly. <laughs> he did. So we'll give him a pass. <laughs> he did indeed use Tick Skull correctly. <laughs> yes, he used Tick Skull correctly. Good, good, good play using Tick Skull. And he, he, did well, he do it again? Did he use like... Tick Skull correctly again or not? I didn't see that one. I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, thank you very much, Ansi, for staying fantastic for seven whole beaver pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. And hello, Tony, as well. Glorious. Great to have you all here, gang. And uh, fair play to you, Ansi. That's, uh, that's fantastic support. Yeah, unbelievable. Ooh. Decides to plug in the old uh, reroll there. It does want to see if he can pick on some of this guard. Um, but that's the last of the biffs being given away. Nothing else going on here. Um, Starfire just going for a cheeky pass for Biff him. Shit, shits and giggles. Yep. Well, and SPP, right? He, he, yes, of course. He yeah, could yeah, win, yeah. and that one SPP could be critical. This, this is it. Yep. Could I get mean, a kick for himself. Doubtful, because he's he's uh, he'd, he'd need he'd need another hundred SPPs. <laughs> <laughs> Only oh, only ninety nine, to, so that's actually all right. Like, yeah, ninety nine is doable. Ninety nine SVP and uh, cake ain't one. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. There's a joke in there. Do your own work. Yeah. Yeah. That's Whatever my you... attitude. Yeah. And then clip whoever did it. Play it yeah. on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's the great thing about crafting of jokes. Uh, a friend of mine's a comedian, and I love talking to him about uh, jokes because um, uh, so the, it, whatever way you would craft a joke is probably going to be um, different. To, so it, you can craft a joke, and certain people will like the way you craft that, and other people won't. And they'll rather that the words were reorganized, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, he was toying with this. Um, this is real fucking avant-garde bullshit. But he was toying with this idea of being able to um, uh, just give words to the audience and have them make the jokes themselves because then they'd think he's really funny because everybody would think it's great. Mm. Which is a, a funny concept, I think. Yes, that's very, Ooh. very, uh, very Stuart Lee, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is, yeah. Who is magnificent Stuart Lee. Yep. This is likely a touchback, right? Uh, I wouldn't say likely, but there's a chance. Yeah. It's a three and eight after the six plus failed catch. Yeah. Which, oh, which he makes oh, easy. What a boy. He did not want to catch that ball. 
that is going to be a tricky man to get. Uh, oh no, it's not that hard to get free because that, that Bjor has Fend as well. But yeah, pretty tricky. Yeah, pretty tricky to hit. That was the thing, yeah. Hmm. Oh well, you can just block with the ball. Or yeah, hand, that, hand off that, that helps. Yeah. It's one of the two, isn't it? You either just block and don't fall. Yeah. Or you uh, just hand off back. Yeah, fair enough. This is a surprising blitz, though, to have happened so early in the turn. You just want the lad back on his feet. I mean, it worked out pretty well because he got rid of a mighty blow tackle, but... Yeah, this yeah. Um, it's going to be difficult to keep this guy safe, right? Yeah, From it reprisal. Was, it was, diff was going to be difficult every day. I, I, didn't, I didn't hate that. Okay. It's just like the way Dio put the guards and everything. It was, mm. it was a tricky turn. Mm -hmm. And this, this asshole there... Uh, Troll Slayer not having guard. <laughs> yeah. And stuff like that. It's it's funny how you know like how everyone like goes four or nine guard and stuff and how good it is dwarves have a nine guard and you always fucking hate the one guy that doesn't have guard. You're like, yeah. God, why is this bastard not have guard? Like it's so brutal when, when they don't That's have actually guard. He, he started out as a beard and then because he didn't get guard, uh, he had to take the slayers out. <laughs> yeah. It's just the pure shame of of being the one guy in the team that doesn't have guard. Absolutely, yeah. It's it's so annoying as well. It is. You can get in there, you can dodge in the guard and get two D in the ball here, can't you? He sure can. And that was the concern. I just was surprised with the blitz that he decided to do because he could easily have just uh, used the blitz on the um I don't think he could easily fence. at all. Uh, no, with the, he but he could have he could have taken the hit on the left hand side and then been able to uh take the the two dice on the You'd have oh, had to do a one, one day to one set day. it up. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, maybe you're right. And like, Dio hasn't even gone for it, so. I guess... No. I guess Dio well, he's one nil up as well, so you know. Yeah. Make them half the base is probably not a terrible idea, but um, yeah. He's given up some hits already. This is uh, this is already mm -hmm. you know he's he's kind of still half manzing, isn't he? So maybe he should have. Yeah. The blitz hasn't been that good for Dio because it's got him into a into a firefight. Mm. If you've seen Boondock Saints, oh, I have. Mm. I have indeed, yeah. Prescribed reading, obviously, or prescribed uh, watching for uh, for us Irish lads, so we can uh, watch Americans do really bad um, Irish accents. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wondered what you'd think of it. <laughs> the best thing to do if you want somebody to be um, have an Irish accent as well is to hire a Scottish lad. <laughs> <laughs> their dad. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's better than Tom Cruise in Far and Away, to be fair, yeah. which is actually the worst. Right. I've never seen that. Nice handoff. Yeah. He got it at the good handoff store. Mm -hmm. I say store now because all the Americans say in store instead of shop baskets. <laughs> Why are you hanging around with Americans is the real worry. I know, right? Yeah. Hmm, just a blitz and reposition here. Yeah, would have liked yeah. to have gone through, I'd say, but uh, we're not getting the power. It's just going to have to come back around. Yeah, he's just got to stop him, hasn't he? He's just got to keep him out. Hold the centre. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make him have to push the sideline too hard if he goes down, you know, mm -hmm. and just try and get the 1-0. Hang mm -hmm. on for the 1-0 somehow. Oof. I like Ooh. Brad Pitt in Snatch. I don't know how good the accent is, but I liked it. Yep, yep, that's fair. Brad, so it, it's pretty good, yep. Um, oh my god, I mean, two double passion. skulls for Two double skulls, pretty horrible, yeah. That's, that's how you lose the sideline. But at least it he's is. squashed him on the sideline. He might be able to get this, you know. Get the yeah. He can stop and get around the top here. He can also get, I mean, he can get some nice hits in on, uh, on Super Bjor. Um, which would be pretty nice to get. Hmm. Yep. Not coming all the way around the back. There's, there's only one way to beat them, you know. What's that? Get around the back. Oh, yep. Fair play. <laughs> yep. Only three dub skulls this half. Yep. Fair play, Enzo. Thanks <laughs> for keeping track. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not so fine. And he hasn't really pushed forward. 
and he's kind of stuck himself on the sidelines. So yeah, he's made it a little, even a little bit more awkward for himself. He yeah. didn't really, he didn't take the space, as his PC would say. Yeah, he did take a Kaz though, so that's created a bit more space. Yeah, that's 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 really helpful. Ooh, he's created ooh, space what? in the in the way that Mr. Page likes to take space. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just roll Kaz. Yeah. Yeah. Just roll tens. It's easy. Yeah. Oh, and now oh. Dio thinks it's dodgy enough that he's yeah. going to have to roll some dice to hit the balls. Yeah. Well, because he's rolled so well this half. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit early for that GFI fail as well. Good yeah, and the snake one. comes in. Oh, and the problem with Amazons is when they do fail anything, the ground does have mighty blow. <laughs> and now the whole team is getting banged on. Tis. Yuck. Yeah, this is uh, this is really rough. At least Supergirl is uh, a little bit more hard to hit, but I mean, not really. But, uh, yeah, a little bit able harder, to yeah. Extricate himself from this fairly easily. Does keep the stand firm shoved back. Not a huge amount of dwarfs being able to go down with him, especially not if he decides to take this extra hit with the Blitzer. A little surprising overall. It's only turn 12, he's got plenty of time. And this will I help suppose, him get the others over as well, right? If, if the the the, cause the problem with pushing was you get these all these isolated. Whereas now, oh look at that, he's even using the blitz over there to get mm. both of them over. Very nice, mm. professional, cool. professional yeah, blitz. Yeah. A man who understands the limitations of dwarves. Yeah, a man's got a noise limitations. Indeed. Plug in the extra. He does not. What was that, Dirty Harry? Probably. Uh, I don't know what that one was. I'm going to take that as well. Another a double skulls. I know, quite a few of them, right? Yeah, quite a few. In a game of uh, Blood Bolt 2020 uh, that I was at a I was at a tournament and I was playing my buddy and I rolled three double skulls in one turn. Wow. Uh, thanks to uh, the new <laughs> the new reroll rules. <laughs> and I looked up and my buddy Shavite, who I was playing, was sitting across from me. And he actually cried laughing. <laughs> <laughs> in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know, is the appropriate reaction to have. Absolutely. So I was actually, actually annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> a 1 in 81 so, there, he failed the well dodge done. and then... Uh... Yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah, pretty rough. Was no one I don't know what it was. It was just a tackle dodge or whatever. He's fucked up, isn't he? <laughs> pretty much, yeah, especially with that Supergirl in there, and uh, yeah, it does get the... Well, no, no, it has dodge on. Oh, has dodge on manual. Yeah, yeah for that exact reason, because he'd rather take that hit than uh, be surfed in. Yeah, that's on the sidelines, it'd have been on manual anyway, wouldn't it? But I'm sure Dio does have for it on sure. manual. He, he does indeed, yeah. Oh, another pass. Yeah, it's all coming in now. Yeah, this is looking okay. real bad. So, so far only down the one guard, however, the majority of his good girls are still there or thereabouts. And that one in nine is going to be gratefully received as well. Yeah. So can he get rid of the stand firm? He can. Oh Which my is... god, oh! kill him! Oh! Get agility oh, wand. Apple. Uh, Apple works. Phew, Starfire's going to be... Very happy about that one. Wow. He's uh, close to following through, I'd say. As <laughs> yeah. they say. Yeah. If he was American, he'd be following through. He would indeed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The sound effects there. <gasps> yeah. And then after the match, he'd have to get off. He <laughs> would. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, Americans. Even still, this is uh, this is pretty rough. You could even pick a lad to score on, and it looks like that actually might be the plan. Is what's the blitzer there? Not on? at one nil down. Not at one nil down. I mean, he's got three turns before he can be even be affected by anything, though, right? No, no, no. E okay. Even Rick, even Rick wouldn't do this. No, <laughs> no, of course he would. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, of course he would. Yeah. Let's not say that. I know. I was just, I was just joking. Yeah, of course sure. he fucking would. <laughs> Of course he fucking would. He'd do it. He'd do it. He'd do it two one day. He'd have probably done it two yeah, turns ago. He would. Indeed, yeah. He would. Have, he would have passed with the beard. <laughs> yeah, hand off to him so he could pass to this <laughs> one. Like literally, guy. Rick would be handing off to this one to pass to this one. <laughs> he would. He would. <laughs> uh, savage. 
Amazons will never win Chavez Carfax. They're good enough too, but they won't. Yeah, it's it. The uh, I mean, it's a it is a bit of a meme, but the the problem is that it, they can win any one-off game, but they can't win six of them in a row. Yeah, and it's it just uh, like they need the god draw, right? And obviously, oh. anyone can get the god draw, but For sure. just it just they need one bad game, or they need one bad draw, and it's just. I mean, even again, even again, like currently they're winning one nil, right? But look at their bench. Yeah. Admittedly, it's dwarves as well, so we should. Yeah, it is the worst possible matchup, but that's the thing. You, you know, you, there's always going to be three or four dwarves and three or four chaffs. Correct. And they all wreck you. Uh, pretty hard. Orcs wreck you pretty hard. They they pretty much always have a tackle pommer. Humans pretty much always have a tackle pommer, so they're going to wreck mm -hmm. you pretty hard. So there's just so many teams that like they don't like facing. Yeah. Pretty good against chaos and what have you. Yeah. The lack of uh, lack of tackle on those teams, chaos or Nurgle, can be a really frustrating game. Well, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier on about how you know early early doors when you're starting to play, you're like, Jesus, these guys are really obnoxious. But you know, people who say that clearly haven't played Amazons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who are like, the worst? Yeah. Yeah, like I mean, they, they could obviously they could like, but it's just it's all isn't it? It's just annoying. Edge one slowly gone on a uh, an old an old tear here. Yeah. She heard that they were they said some stuff about her before the game and she was like, Well I'm not having any of that. <laughs> Hello Fimir. Hey if Fimir has gone, buddy. Yeah, yeah, totally a large a large thud. Mm-hmm. There you go, Melolicious, yep. Um, yeah, the Zans did get quite far last season and then uh, just kind of fell apart due to uh, a couple of uh, failed dodges and um, some uh, a couple of tackles and just ran out of players before due they could get through. Yeah, due to being an Armour 7 bash team. Though, yes. as we all know from Vela Hoppia, sometimes Armour 7 bash teams can win. Oh, they're, sometimes they're invincible, right? Mm, against Chorfs as well of all teams and they, they can win the toss in overtime and mm -hmm. still get nearly scored on and have a re-roll disadvantage and just win anyway so, yeah. just win anyway yeah. yeah. so you know if they were Amazons they would have won that tournament to be fair so they, they would have the, yeah. won the final anyway <clears throat> move on it's been years I'll never forget no I mean I've mm -hmm. forgotten all about it to be honest I've literally forgotten all about it. Have you? Yeah. That's why you just gave us a play by blow, play by play. Yeah, no, I can't remember yeah. the match at all. I can't remember. I know. I, I, I literally, I, I watched it back because someone, somebody mentioned it, and then, and so I've actually watched it more than the years and years ago, and I don't remember the match at all. But I, I did see that I lost the toss and still, like, you know, stopped him and nearly counter scored. So, like, yeah. I know that's to be true, but I can't remember how. Whereas I lost a match in OFL, the final of OFL, and I had chuffs and. It was Lark Star with Kislev, well, Slam. Mm. And I can, like, mm. remember that. I can remember, like, that whole match. <laughs> because I fucking lost that one. But, I mean, I guess I should have remembered losing against the Norse more, but I don't. Um, question there. He had a move seven agility line woman, and the setup there implies to me that he probably could have gone for the wood turn there. Yeah, maybe he should have done. Yeah, I know you don't. You're not fond of it because it's agility three and all the rest of it. But there was no defense yeah. against it. Yeah, you probably um, should have done. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, oh, I lost the toss. Yeah, like I lost the toss. Yeah, yeah. Move seven, edge four. He could have. He could have scored. Oh, like four, eight, nine eight. players. Yeah, I mean, you just get rid of the, the guy in the middle and then you can make the box around the lad on the left or, or right and then just take your punches and see how it goes. I don't think you could do without a quick snap. Okay. Like, I'm okay. not sure. I'm not, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah. Don't, don't quote me on that. But um, No, no, no. But I will. It's Dio, right? I reckon if it was very feasible, he probably would have yes. gone for it. Yeah. Yeah, so I think we can was... we can trust his judgment on this. Yeah, it was at the least very very difficult. <laughs> Agreed. He probably had to hope for a touchback. You know, I like just mm -hmm. use all nine to do the blocks. 
then mm -hmm. it's like he's got a, then it's like he's got ten instead of nine almost, and then. Uh, mm -hmm. But I still think it'd be hard. Fair enough. But I don't no rerolls as well. Going into overtime is pretty rough on the Zons. It is, yeah, yeah. No rerolls, lost the toss. Yeah. yeah, it is one of the the rougher parts about the matchup. It's not just because the lads all have tackle and whatever, which is obviously annoying and frustrating, but it's the fact that your dodges, which you normally don't have to put a reroll into, um, drains you of your rerolls a little bit earlier than they would against other teams. Yeah. Oh. Kick off turn, doing nothing. And being stuck with these uh, shitty line women to shove on the line is uh, never a good thing. Put Agility 1 on the line as well. She's been on a murder spree. Let's hope she doesn't uh, get murdered back. No! Yep. Yep. There goes his main killing power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I imagine in, in Dio's head he was referring to her as the claw palmer. I probably ref in his head he's probably referring to her as pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got some pretty pro elves uh, that he's running this season, which is kind of funny. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pretty's pretty pelves. <laughs> yeah, God. I have no idea why. Yeah. The man's a menace. Hmm. He might have to get a new tag team in a uh, in JFW for himself. <laughs> Ooh. Dio and Pretty, that would be incredible, wouldn't it? It would be pretty good, yeah. It could just be, uh, it could just be Crusher with a Pretty mask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't upload a face anymore, because it's... Oh, maybe in 2K22, eh? Mm. Maybe in 2K22. Are there copyright issues, is it? No, it's because... Well, I mean, the, technically there are, but... Um, it's more they they like turned off the multiplayer for 2K19, so you can't like you can't upload any images anymore for you. Oh no way! Images, you know. So yeah. just forcing you to use the newer shader version. Yes. Sound. Bastards. Mhm. Mm it means that I can't download Skuros wrestlers and stuff, and he can't download mine. So like he made a couple That's of annoying. wrestlers that I can never get now and stuff like that. So. That's a shame. Yep. No rush here for the doors. This is this is nice, isn't it? There's no need to go Tis. crazy. Just take yeah. your time. Just take your time. Take your hits. You're probably you're definitely going to win the bash war here, and um, yeah, you've got all the time in the world. They're slowly running out of people. Yep. Yep. They're men down at the moment. Well, they're about eleven men down. Ha! <laughs> because they're women. <laughs> I always just call Amazons he's and men because it's just like it's so ingrained in me saying it. It's just automatic, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, I don't know what that says about us as a culture. I, you know, uh, I'm of the opinion that I should put the effort into changing that up. But I can appreciate why it's not worth the while. Yeah, I don't care. They're not, not real. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're not real, are they? They're not gonna. They're not gonna take offence. The pixels aren't gonna take offence. No. So I don't give a fuck. Um, does he really say that, Team on Taylor? That's incredible. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that is very funny. Yeah, I mean, looking at these models, that are essentially not human, right? So they, they couldn't take offence anyway. If you look at like their, their arms mm -hmm. and stuff, their shoulders. Um, yeah. So you know they're not even human, so it's okay. <laughs> they're from uh, they're from Lustria, so there's uh, there's probably a bit of lizard DNA in there that. Might explain it. Yeah. The new models are kind of fun. Yeah. Yeah, very Chun Li like, aren't they? <laughs> They've, uh, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm afraid to say anything, to be honest with you. Because, <laughs> uh, whatever I say, it'll probably be bad. Or no. could be construed some way. Okay. Uh, any attempt to try to make humor of something like that. But uh, in general, I think it's fine to be cautious about stuff, and I think it's uh, important to take on board other people and their opinions on things. And uh, just because I think something's funny doesn't necessarily mean it's hilarious to other people. Well, do so, you know what I say about that? that? Do you know what Go I on. say about that? Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, who cares if someone's offended? Like, well, honestly. yeah, I suppose. Yeah, you're not wrong. Uh, and it's important to kind of, you know, you have your right to, you know, say whatever the fuck you want. Obviously, that's of huge importance. But also, um, one of the problems with um, the, 
the, the being in the hobby is that uh, people don't see themselves reflected in uh, the various um, guises of the game. And that lack of representation is uh, has to have something to do with uh, why we don't have more um, people in our hobby. And I think, think that should that should change. Yeah, I do. I don't think it has that much to do. I just think these kind of games appeal to boys more than girls. I think I think that's an outdated concept. I don't. <laughs> Fair enough. Because <laughs> they're different, aren't they? Boys and girls are different. Uh, well, who says and why? You know. <laughs> they just I mean, are. Yeah. They're like yeah. literally physiologically different, aren't they? Did go for the dive because it was the best option he had available. Doesn't get it. Doesn't kill her at least. But uh, that doesn't matter a shite. Um, because Be careful what you say, old president is a lizard man after all. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. <laughs> You don't like. Uh, you don't. Need, that's not even political because that's like uh, that could be any president of any country. <laughs> Indeed, it could. <laughs> They're all lizard people. Don't worry about yep. it. <laughs> yep. We're all just living in V. Yep. <laughs> he has a cracking set of tits. Don't <laughs> 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 know where that came from. <laughs> Well, congratulations, Flicky. <laughs> Amazing. <gasps> no idea where that decided to come from, but it is pretty funny. <laughs> exactly, Swamp Permit, yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Tragedy. Yep. Ugh. Yeah, just rolling the stupid oh. dice now. It's, it's not going to work. No, um, but I mean, it, it, that's what he has to do. Those are the those yep. are the plays. So you have to go for them. You know, yep. there's no um, there's no exclamation mark, Jerry on going on here. Exactly. Yep. Yep. No passing the turn from Dio. He's fighting for nope. those slivers of equity. Correct. <laughs> that's the play. That's the play. And it looks like he's going to go straight in. Yep. No handing off to the blitzer. If that was Ricky, the leveled his blitzer this match. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Or died trying one of the two. <laughs> one of the two, but uh, no chances taken from whoever that was. Star Ferret. Star Ferret yep. takes no chances, gets the win versus Dio, which is a big win, you know, even though Dio had had Amazons, it's it's always difficult to beat him. He's always going to battle for everything, isn't he? Play 100%. Yep. So there you go. Uh, congrats, yep. Star Ferret. Commiserations, Dio. Yep. Thank you very much, Kalon. Glorious as always. Yeah, real pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, yeah, really well played by Starfire, you have to say. Uh, great um, uh, great game, great scalp to get, uh, beating Dio, and uh, I think he went about his business very professionally, so well done. Yep, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.